Welcome to the National Seren Academy launch. Glen Dadwi, at win balch yawn of a gadachi, and Lanshor had lenk a froys arach at ich caver. I'm delighted to be here again this year to host this year's launch. Akrini naurum himmed bluidin laun of Seren. This is the fifth full year of Seren, and this digital offer will support you on your Seren journey. Ac fel arfer, byddwn ni'n rhagdu yn ddwyieithog, a'r presenting bilingually during the evening. Yn gyntaf, llong gyfeichiadau bawb congratulations all on being selected to be part of Seren Academy. Ar ôl deunaw mis heriol i bawb, this last year and a half has been challenging for everyone, so well done for persevering. Chi'r athrawon, all the teachers out there, thank you for all your hard work and support. A chyther hi eni, gobalwyr, ac ilodau'r teulu. You parents, carers, family members, supporting the young people, diolch. I'm sure you're so proud of your loved ones. A diolch am fod gyda ni heno. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Ma gyda chi'r dysgwyr ragolygon disglair gyda'r potensial i astudio yn rhai o'r prifysgolion gorau. We're all here because you have the potential to study at leading universities in Wales, the UK and overseas. We're now going to talk about the prospect of Seren since the last few years of the year. Enjoy tonight and make sure you download the Seren Prospectus, which is full of inspirational information for you. Follow that link in the lobby tab. I had some of the best days of my life at such university. A period of development and discovery. Don't you wear the mischief at the library school? On the other hand, get a grade, so it adds up to more. My university days gave me great opportunities, which I've really valued and benefited from. Make sure you aim high and go to the place that best suits you, the place that offers you the greatest opportunities. A scene I've ever gone to at that place, that place where you can discover and develop. But before we start, let's cover some housekeeping points to help you navigate tonight's event. Van hyn y bydd y prif gyflwyniadau a dechrau arnoson. The presentations in the first part of the evening will all be delivered in this main room. So note the agenda and times you can see on the right hand side. Yna drawer cyntaf. Then for the second part, you'll need to visit the lobby area where there'll be links to the sessions on the right hand side. Session question a gatter bill, a live Q&A session, followed by an update from your local Seren hub. A chofiwch, and remember that you can also access some masterclass content on this platform. Please check the relevant area for more information. You can familiarise yourself with how to find the lobby and the links during one of the breaks. When you click on a link at the time shown, the session will start automatically. Fodd bynnag, os nad yw'n glir, if any of this is not clear, cysylltwch. Please message us at seren at casba.wales, which you can use to start posting those questions, ready for the Q&A. Ie, cofiwch gynnig y cwestiwn yna, seren at casba.wales. Fel y gwelwch chi'r un i'n defnyddio'r Gymraeg yn ystod yn oson er fe fydd na rai o'r cyflwyniadau yn y Seisneg yn unig. As some of our contributors are from outside of Wales, those presentations will be in English only. But feel free to ask any questions in the Q&A session in the language of your choice. Felly y Gymraeg neu'r Seisneg cofiwch wrth ofyn y cwestiwn yna. Tros olwg o'r rhaglen gewch chi gyntaf heno, we'll start with an overview of this year's Seren Academy programme. You'll hear from Seren alumni about the opportunities you have access to this year a gair gan wynidog y Gymraeg ac addysg and an address by the Minister for Education and Welsh Language, Jeremy Miles MS. Yna, there'll be top tips for parents, carers and families to support learners to get to university. Cynghorion ar sut i gefnogi'r dysgwyr wrth baratoi i fynd i'r brifysgol. Gan ddilyn hynny, gyda chyfleu holi'r panelwyr, then that live Q&A with our panel of experts. So please, Send in those questions. Dewch ar cwestiwn yna, Tony. Then finally, you'll have the opportunity to head over to your Seren Hub for more information on the support available. Cyfle cyn gorffin i wybod beth sy'n digwydd yn rhanbarthol ar eich cyfer. So let's start. 
the National Seren Academy launch 2021. Without further ado, we'll hear from the Seren alumni. But firstly, I'm delighted to hand over to the Minister for Education and Welsh Language, Gwenido Gagamraig Agadisg, Jeremy Miles, AS. Shumai. Dwi'r thymodd i'ch troesawu chi i Academy Seren ac i'ch rhwng gyfer chi ar yr hyn rydych chi wedi llwyddo i wneud. Fel rhaid ysgwyr mwyaf dislar Cymru rydych chi wedi cael eich dewis ar sail eich gallu a'ch gwaith caled ac fydd ylych chi fod yn brawd iawn o'ch llwyddiant. As you continue through your education journey, the Seren Academy programme will provide you with a broad range of opportunities to spark your intellectual curiosity. You'll have access to exciting activities to support your ongoing studies and your applications to university and have the chance to apply for study experiences, including our inspirational summer schools. I had the privilege of attending this year's residential summer school at Jesus College, Oxford, and it was wonderful to meet with such an inquisitive and ambitious group of young people. I hope many of you will apply for next year's opportunity. You'll hear more about it later in this event. Sarah alumni study at some of the best universities across the globe. You have also demonstrated your academic potential and the world's leading universities are within your reach. I'd like to thank the teachers, lecturers, heads of sixth form, hub coordinators, our university and educational partners, ambassadors and Sarah alumni for their dedication and commitment to supporting learners across Wales. Seren would not be the success it is today without their unwavering contribution in helping you to fulfil your aspirations. Dwi'n gobeithio nych chi fwy'n hau heddi a chael eich ysbrydoli gan gyd fyfyrwyr Seren a fydd yn siarad gyda chi pob un a'i stori ac sydd wedi cyflawni yn ei ffordd yn ei griw ei hun. Mae bod yn rhan o Seren yn rhywbeth i'w ddathlu a dwi'n eich annog chi i wneud y mwyaf o'r cyfleon sydd ar gael i chi. Ar wyddai'r seren yw estyn am y sêr, ac felly, lle bynnag a beth bynnag y dywysiwch chi ystudio a'i wneud yn y dyfodol, gwnewch eich gorau glas a chredwch yn eich gallu. Diolch yn fawr i chi a phob lwc. Hello, I'm Jacques, a Seren student, and I'm studying at Oxford University. A fi yw Rosa, a dwi ar hyn o bryd yn ail flwyddyn yn ystudio'n hairgrawnt ar ôl bod yn rhan o Seren am bedair mlynedd. A fi hefyd yw llywydd Cymdeithas y Mabinogi, y Gymdeithas Gymreig yma. Like other Seren students who've attended universities across the UK and overseas, we've both had an amazing experience. Rydyn ni'n mynd i ddangos i chi byd os ych chi ddysgol fel rhan o'ch siwrne chi gyda Seren. Ac wrth gwrs yr holl gyfleoedd yn unigryw a chyffroes mae Seren yn ei cynnig. Felly, bant â ni. You're going to experience everything from masterclasses and lectures to mock interview workshops and personal statement guidance. And of course, there's a wealth of e-resources for you to tap into, all helping you to make informed decisions as you prepare to apply to leading universities. I ddechra, ewch chi o lych bôn a nodwch chi'n cyfrifa ar gyfryngau cymdeithasol sydd i'w gweld ar y sgrif, a gallwch chi ddechra ein dilyn ni nawr. Ie, yeah. Instagram and Twitter are going to be your go-to places for all the latest Seren news and developments. And importantly, it's where you're going to find out about upcoming events and opportunities. Dros y deunaw mis nesaf, mae yna lawer i ddod, ac wrth rhai y cyfan bydd yn canol faner am bathol. Fe fydd na wybodaeth, cyngor a sesiynau arweiniad gyda phobl fel fi, cyn fyfyrwyr, sydd hefyd wedi profi tipyn o siwrnau gyda seren. Nawn ni helpu drwy gynnig cymorth ynglyn â sut i wneud y mwyaf o'r holl brofiad. One of the great things about seren is the access and support you'll get from some of Wales's and the UK's top universities, including both Oxford and Cambridge. Fe fydd na ysgolion haf, profiadau ystudio a gweithdai, a bydd rhain i gyd yn gyflwyniad wirioneddol ar ferchog i fywyd prifysgol, ac yn gyfle unigryw na allech chi ddod o hyd i unrhyw le arall. Ond mae'r cyfan yn boblogaidd iawn, felly gwnewch yn siŵr eich bod yn ymgeisio cyn gynted a phosib. The opportunities that it's given me, the talks that I've been to, just to help you make sure you're making the right choice, 
and kind of set you up for places like Oxford or other competitive universities that perhaps you wouldn't otherwise have that support. So it's definitely, uh, I'm so glad Saring exists and it has, it's helped me a lot. My wooden disc was Saring, where you Roy probably me now than you were to call Heb and Dano Saring. I can already write Vima Cassetta to get a Nivero Bobol or a fringe in there with an Augusta La Proviada in there with. One of the things Seren students have enjoyed most has been the annual residential summer school at Jesus College, Oxford. Even this summer, with restrictions still in place, we were still able to get together and experience the summer school in person. I'm Uthnos. I could have got us. I think the man of you, I mean, a school half ring Lotol Arlene. Gyda dros tri llan o ddysgwyr o bob ran o Gymru yn cael eu dysgu gan yr academyddion gorau o bedwar fan byd. Felly, paratwch am y llu o weithgareddau, darlithoedd a dosbarddiadau meistr fydd ar gael i chi haf nesaf. Another big opportunity you have with Seren is the possibility of applying to study at American universities. Os yw hwn yn rhywbeth sydd o ddiddordeb i chi, Fe fydd Seren yn helpu i'ch darparu gyda'r holl sgiliau er mwyn gwneud cais llwyddiannus trwy partneriaeth gyda Fulbright a Sut Interest. Seren helped me realise just how accessible applying to American universities really is. I wouldn't be here as a second year student at the University of Chicago without them. If you realise that being an international student in the US is for you, I highly suggest you take advantage of the Sut Interest US program in partnership with Fulbright to guide you towards your goals. Last year, we also introduced the Seren Award, an amazing opportunity to replicate studying as an undergraduate at a highly selective university in the UK. Stay tuned to hear more about this opportunity for this year. Fe fyddwch chi'n cael eich pario gyda Thiwtor PhD ar bwnc ymchwil gyda grŵp bach o gyd-dysgwyr eraill. Bydd y profiad yn eich helpu gyda cheisiadau prifysgol yn y dyfodol, mae'n siŵr. Allwch chi ddod o hyd i fwy o wybodaeth ym Prospectus Seren. Seven is all about making the connections in school, across your hub, and across Wales with like-minded learners, with Seven alumni, and with our university partners across Wales, the UK, and overseas. There's so much to look forward to. Man neges ni i chi yn syml, gwnewch y mwyaf o bob cyfle sydd ar gael i chi drwy Seren. Fe all Seren wirion iddo newid i'ch bywyd. Felly, anelwch am y Seren, Good luck as you start your exciting Seren journey. And don't forget to keep checking our social media channels for all the important updates. And keep a special lookout for details of the next national event, the Seren Academy Conference, coming to a screen near you in December. Bye for now. Bye bye. Diolch a gwych mor gyffrois. Thank you, that was fantastic. I'm inspired and I hope you are too. Next up, we'll hear from two of our key Seren partners, Dr Matt Williams from Jesus College Oxford a Liam Rachman o Equal Education, Dai of Ser Seren. They'll share with you the exciting summer school opportunities available to you this coming year. Beth sydd ar y gorwel tybed? Dros oedd ati chi, Matt a Liam. Hello, wonderful members of the Seren Network. My name is Matt Williams. I am the Access Fellow of Jesus College at the University of Oxford. Jesus College, as you may know, is the Welsh College of Oxford University because we were founded exactly 450 years ago this year by a Welshman called Huat Priest to educate Welsh people. And we still retain a very, very fond, loving, close connection to the country of Wales. And so we're thrilled to be working for another year with the Seren Network with you. So first I've got to say on behalf of the university, a massive congratulations to all of you for getting your place on Seren Academy. It's a massive achievement. It does, as the tagline say, mean that you are now one of Wales's brightest people, which of course means that you're one of the world's brightest people and you've got an awful lot of power at your fingertips. And so now it becomes a question as to what you're gonna do with all that power. Are you going to grab it and make the best of it? Or are you gonna let it just slip through your fingers? There's gonna be so much on offer with the Seren Academy this year that you can take advantage of. 
and we at the University of Oxford are going to be there every step of the way. So we have just set up a new consortium, a group of colleges. So Oxford University is split up into 39 colleges and three of those colleges are going to be focused exclusively on access and outreach work for Wales. And those colleges are Jesus College, the Welsh College, New College, which despite its name is very, very old, dates back to the 14th century, and St Catherine's College, which is relatively new by Oxford standards, but is nonetheless beautiful. So those three colleges combined will be offering all sorts of fantastic support to you in conjunction with the Seren Network. So we will, for example, be offering a lot of in-person and online admission support, academic enrichment. We'll be encouraging you and your Seren Hubs to come and visit us in Oxford. We will also, most importantly, be running two huge summer schools. We started out with a summer school for 22 Seren learners back in 2017. Last year, we hosted summer schools both online and in person for just under 375 people. And next year, it's going to be even bigger still. We're hoping to have about 475 people catered for by our summer schools. There's going to be a two week online international summer school. International because there'll be tutors from all over the world, from the best universities on the planet coming to speak to you and teach you and develop your minds and broaden your horizons. And a one week residential summer school in Jesus College, Oxford, in August 2022 and we will give you all of the information you'll need to apply for either of those in due course and we very much welcome your applications. I should just note importantly that we're not doing this in order to try and give you the hard sell on Oxford University. I mean the fact that you're on the Seren network means that you're definitely bright enough to attend Oxford and we do hope that you will seriously consider us as an option for your higher education but we're also acutely aware that Oxford isn't right for everybody and some of you will be interested in applying to Cambridge and to Harvard and to other Russell Group universities and some of you may not have made up your mind about university at all and that's absolutely fine so don't think that you know coming along to one of our events means that you're just going to get this sort of endless hard sell on <laughs> why you should apply to Oxford it's not like that we're just going to give you academic content we're going to give you admission support we're basically going to give you the skills the power and the confidence to make the right decisions for you because ultimately that's what we want we want you to make the best informed most empowered decisions for yourself because we have noticed that Welsh students are underrepresented at the world's best universities and that is both a moral problem and it's self-harm. It means that we're not taking advantage of your fantastic talents and abilities to the extent that we ought to. So what are you going to do with all that power? I hope that you grab it with both hands and that you come along to all of the various opportunities that Seren will offer you and that you apply for our summer schools and that you get stuck in and you recognise how much fantastic support is on offer from a range of different institutions, all hoping to help you. But nonetheless, at this stage, pat yourselves on the back. You've done an enormous thing. But remember, now's the time to get stuck in and start taking those opportunities on. Thank you very much for watching. I'm very much looking forward to working with you in due course. All the best then. Bye. Good evening, Noswetha. Congratulations for being a member of the Seren Academy. That's a huge achievement. My name is Liam Rahman, and I'm a director at Equal Education Partners. We work closely with Seren and its other partner organisations to create impactful opportunities for Seren learners. This evening, my colleague, Lois Williams, a Seren alumna and graduate of Jesus College Oxford and Trinity College Oxford, is going to tell you a bit more about some of Seren's opportunities for this coming summer and how you can take advantage of them. I urge you to take advantage of Seren's summer school opportunities. They're hugely impactful, transformational, and won't let you down. Thank you very much for your interest in the Seren summer schools, and I look forward to hearing from many of you in the coming weeks and months. Diolch var, Noswetha. Diolch Liam, Noswetha, good evening. Lois Williams, we are doing with your Argavar Equal Education Partners. I'm Lois and I'm working as a project manager for Equal Education Partners alongside Liam, our director, and Rebecca Martin. And you are likely to hear more from each of us during your Saren journey. Um, Valdita Liam, 
Cyn y myno ag equal o'n un fyfyrio'r Ffraneg yng Ngholeg Iesu, rhyd ychen, ac wedyn yng Ngholeg y Dringdod, rhyd ychen ar gyfer fy nghwrs meistr. As Liam said, I studied French at Jesus College Oxford for my undergraduate degree, and then I went to Trinity College Oxford for my master's. So I've been in your place and can appreciate the hard work that is required to get where you are today. What an achievement. Felly, fyddwn ni'n licio ategu at y croeso ar llongyfarchiadau heno um, mewn wych y bod chi yn rhan o Academy Seren. It's a fantastic um, thing that you're part of Seren Academy. <coughs> Equal Education Partners are one of Seren's partner organisations working alongside Jesus College Oxford and other top academic institutions across the globe to deliver excellent learning opportunities exclusively for Seren students. Mae'r cyfleoedd y dynnu'n ei cynnig ar eich cyfer chi, fe chi cymwch bob cyfle a gynnwch y mwyau o'r hyn sydd ar gael i chi. Make the most of what is on offer to you. And this is an extremely exciting and pivotal time in your life. And we can support you in your decision making. So, what can we do? Sit vijoni vod or help. O sishene gubotai thachingar i gevnokkaith evo kishata. From information, advice and guidance sessions to more direct support with your applications, we can support you with your next steps. <clears throat> but two exciting opportunities you do not want to miss out on are our summer schools at Escolion Ha, you've already heard about from Matt Williams. My Escol Ha are in Latol Arlene Seren yn rhaglen sy'n para pythefnos ac yn llawn o sesiynau academaidd amrywiol gan ddarlithwyr ag academyddion o brifysgolion mwyaf blaenllaw y byd. Mae prifysgol, ma ysgol ha preswyl, coleg yr iesu, yn, yn prifysgol rydychen, yn rhoi cyfle i chi drio pum diwrnod yn rydychen, a dyma'r chwechedd blwyddyn i'r rhaglen hon fynd yn ei blaen. Mae wir yn brofiad arbennig. So the Jesus College Residential Five Day Program is a special opportunity for you to live and breathe the life of an Oxford student, while the online program gives you the chance to experience academic sessions led by lecturers and academics from the world's very top universities over two weeks. So that's just a little bit about both of the summer schools. Um, Dwi ysgol ha sydd ar gael i chi, ond dwi mynd i roed mwy o wybodaeth i chi rhywun am ysgol ha yn ynghladol Seren. So I'll give you a bit more information about the Seren International Online Summer School. It was designed in 2020 at the height of the pandemic to give over 100 Year 12 Seren learners the opportunity to follow one of four subject streams from humanities to social and life sciences. A tyfodd yr ysgol ha yn 2021 i gynnwys 300 o ddysgwyr dros 8 o bynciau neu ffrydiau academaidd gwahanol. The success of the summer school in 2020 led to, it, led to its expansion in 2021, this summer, um, to enrol 300 learners in eight different subject streams. So, why should you take part? Pam ddylechu fynychu yr ysgol ha. So it's an immersive experience and it's interdisciplinary so you can um, pick and choose what you want to do. You'll have one main subject area but you are free to attend um, sessions in other subject streams too. It will challenge your academic abilities beyond the classroom. It will broaden your horizons, raise your aspirations and your confidence through personal growth. And also it will help you make informed decisions about what your next steps will be. Even better, the experience that, that you will get on the summer school will directly help your university applications. I know it's a bit soon maybe to speak about personal statements now, 
but it's not too soon to debate and higanar in isharad and the scanyad personal. Why not speak in your personal statement about the research that you put into your capstone project during the summer school or a particular lecture that you attended that sparked your interest and that encouraged you to study a particular topic further? These are all useful things that you can put in your personal statement when you go to apply to your universities. And people who attended the um, summer school are now studying at top academic institutions all over the world, um, from Oxford, Cambridge, Cardiff, Manchester, UCL, Imperial, Harvard, U Chicago, and so many more. Adosa dim resum pam navetuchi vod en a chevidema amhen duivlanad chwaith. That might be you in two years' time. Gall holl weithgareddda seren y helpu chi i gyrraedd lle ydych chi eisiau bod, a hyd nod hefyd sy'n bellach na ydych chi'n meddwl ydych chi eisiau bod. And making the most of what's available from seren can help you get where you want to be. When beth am yr elfen rhyngwladol felly, what about the international element? Well, this programme is unique in that it brings together people from top academic institutions across the world to offer Seren learners truly excellent academic opportunities, which challenge and broaden your perspectives. So some of our instructions over the last two years have come from Seren alumni studying at top UK universities, the US, Singapore, India, China, Australia, Malaysia and Turkey. Ac mae llawer mwy o elfenna unigryw i'r rhaglan hefyd. There are other unique features to the programme. You can be stretched and challenged with rigorous academic content at undergraduate level. Because you are capable of it, a dach chi yn ddigon galluog i fedru ymdopi efo heria academaidd fel hyn. There are eight academic um, subject streams on offer, which you can see listed. A nid dyna'r cwbl, <coughs> there will be more for 2022. And the teaching of the streams is delivered in a mix of lectures, seminars and tutorials, exactly like you'd be taught in university. A purpas yr ysgol ha ydy roi blas i chi ar sut beth ydy astudio mewn prifysgol. Additionally, you will learn from current university students who will tell you about their experiences. From Q&A panels to virtual campus tours and personal statement and interview workshops, you will be given advice to support your university application process, which seems far away now, but will require your attention soon enough. Mae'r amser lan yn orlawn o gyfleoedd i chi fanteision yno, a dyma gyfle i chi holi myfyrwyr sy'n ystudio yn y prifysgolion yr ydych chi'n aneliad yno. So what do you need to do? Y cam nesa ydy gwneud cais, ac mi gewch chi wybod mwy am y cyfleoedd sydd ar gael dros y misoedd nesa. You'll hear more from us about these opportunities over the next few months. Gwnewch chi'n siŵr eich bod chi'n cadw llygad am y wybodaeth. Make sure that you keep an eye out for the details. Ensure that you subscribe to the Seren social media channels and check your email for any information coming from your hub coordinator or teachers about these opportunities. You really don't want to miss out. Bachwch ar y cyfle. Bydd ceisiadau ar gyfer yr ysgolion ha yn agor y mis rhagfyr. Applications to the summer schools open in December and will be due by early February. Felly cofiwch mis chwyfror bydd y dyddiad cau. My final words are to encourage you to apply. You have nothing to lose, but so much to gain. These opportunities will support you with your next steps. Cofiwch wneud y gora o'r holl gyfleoedd sydd ar gael a ffeidiwch a bod ofn mynd amdani. Llong gyfyrchiadau mawr. Congratulations to you all for gaining a place on Seren Academy. A fantastic achievement. Diolch yn fawr a pob lwc a noswaith a i chi gyd. Diolch yn fawr, thank you both. 
You'll hear more about the Seren Summer Schools over the next few months, so please follow all the Seren social media channels and look out for those emails. Cadwch lygad barcid ar y Sianeli Cyfrangau Cymdeithasol, Twitter, Instagram a Facebook ar negeseion e'r busna. A chofiwch anfon y cwestiwn yna mewn, please keep those questions coming in for our panel. Nesa, gair am gyfle arbennig iawn arall. Now it's time to introduce Greg Scano from the Brilliant Club to provide you with a brilliant and unique opportunity exclusive to Seren Learners to help prepare you to apply to those leading universities. Gwobr Seren, the Seren Award. Jumai Pawb, hello everyone. I'm Greg and I work for the Brilliant Club and we collaborate with Seren to bring you the Seren Award. This year I'm really excited to tell you what we've been able to expand the award with even more young people like yourselves from across Seren able to take part working with even more of our amazing PhD researchers. Last year, over 1,400 Seren learners in Year 12, just like you, starting up their journey, got to take part in the award from over 135 different secondary uh, schools and FE colleges. And 84% of them achieved a first or a 2-1 in the Seren Award. And that helped the, and succeeded in completing that piece of work, which has now helped them form their university applications. I'm going to be giving you some of the key information about the award over the coming slides. But before I get into the nuts and bolts of it, I wanted you to hear from one of the year 13s who took part last year, tell us about her experiences on the award and why she thinks you should take part. Roedd fy'n hiwt o'r angwneud PhD ym Prif Ysgol Abertawe ac ystudiaeth y cwestiwn sy'n coleg sut mae'r ymgylchedd yn effeithio ar ein hymddygiad bwyta. Roedd ni eisiau ystudio sy'n coleg gan dydw i heb cael y cyfle i ystudio hynny yn yr ysgol ac felly roedd ni eisiau trwy'r rhywbeth newydd. Roedd yn cyfle gwych i gweithio gyda tutor PhD a cafodd ei strwythio o felly o fewn oeth nos cefaeth tair tutorial ar lein a oedd yn canolbwyntio ar tair prif pwnc o dan y cwestiwn. Uh, roedd yn tua awr o hyd a bydd tutor yn trafod y pwnc a hefyd roedd y sesiwn ein rhyngweithio iawn ac felly roedd pawb yn gallu rhannu i farnau ac yna ar ôl y tair sesiwn hynny caws yn fythefnos i ysgrifennu'r aseiniad terfynol a oedd yn trafod y cwestiwn a mi oedd wir yn peth newydd i mi ysgrifennu traethed fel hynny. Roedd yn un fach iawn o ennill graf 21 yn y Wobr Saren a mae hyn wedi agor cyfleoedd i mi gan fydd nifer o ysgolion nawr yn gostwng y graf a'i byddai angen oherwydd fy llwyddiant gyda'r graf 21 yna. Yn bendam, byddai bendam yn argymell bod pobl eraill yn rhan o Wobr Saren. Mae'r adbor o'r gefaeth yn bendant wedi fy helpu ddatblygu fy sgiliau a pharo rhoi o'r gyfer y naid enfawr hwn o'i brif ysgol. Dwi'n wneud hefyd bod ysbrydoli i ddarllen yn y hangach o amgylch o pwnc ac ystyried yr hyn rydw i am ei ystudio yn y brif ysgol. It was great to hear from Sarah about the course she studied and the tip that she worked with upon the ward last year. The award is designed to replicate the University of Learning in two ways. The first way being that the courses are based on the actual area of research that these PhD tutors are working upon at the moment. That makes them super curricular and bespoke, things that no one else will be doing at the moment, but also above and beyond what anyone does at AS level. So that's going to stand you in really good stead for making a strong university application in the future, because the most competitive universities are looking for you to do the super curricular work, this wider reading that the Seren Award can be used in your UCAS application. This slide has a small selection of some of the courses that are on offer with our PhD tutors and you, as you can see they go across all subject disciplines from your arts humanities, social sciences through to the life sciences and physical sciences. You will work with a tutor and they will be doing a, a course based on their very specific area within one of these broad academic disciplines. You'll just hear my voice in the next few slides as I wanted you to be able to read all the information for yourselves. I'm not going to focus too much on the benefits of taking part, as I think Sarah covered most of those in her video. But I did want to flag that both the University of Bath and the University of Reading will offer alternative reduced offers on most of their courses for any learners who receive a first or a 2-1 in the final assignment. So if you receive one of the highest grades, a mark of over 60, 
you would be offered a lower grade if you apply to those universities in the future. Like I mentioned previously, the award replicates what it's like to study university in two ways. And the second way is the structure of the programme. You'll be led by a PhD researcher and you'll be in a small group of no more than eight learners from across Wales who've got similar academic interests. This mimics the small group teaching offered at many universities and how you'll meet people with similar academic interests when you get there from other places in such settings. This slide just outlines the award in a bit more detail. So first you'll receive an academic masterclass video, a link to a YouTube recording that will last between 15 to 30 minutes. It will introduce you to your PhD researcher, their area of research and the course you'll be working upon with them. You'll also get set up on a virtual learning environment so you can access any of the pre-reading materials that they've set you. So you can go into that first live tutorial really well informed about what you'll be studying. The three tutorials will take place over the course of one week on Microsoft Teams and each last around an hour. After that third and final tutorial, you'll have a fortnight to write your final assignment response, which should be between 1500 and 2000 words. Again, this structure of watching a session or attending a lecture if you were at university, doing some independent reading or research, and then being in a small group to discuss the content over the course of one week, uh, replicates what a typical week at a university could look like. Your final assignment will then be marked as if you are a university undergraduate with your receiving feedback and a university classification and mark from your PhD researcher. The following two slides just have the timelines that the award will be taking place. We've got three waves for the award, one the week of the 15th of November, the second the week of the 22nd of November and the third wave being the week of the 29th of November into early December. You'll be allocated a wave based on your subject choices that you put on the on online application form and which PhD tutors we've got from that field available to deliver a programme. Like I mentioned already, you'll be put into a group of eight learners uh, for, from across Sarah and right the way across Wales. So there might be some people you already know from your school or college or indeed your hub, or you might be with learners from elsewhere that you've never met before. As you can see from this slide, uh, the suggested tutorial dates are Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, but this may vary somewhat from tutor to tutor depending on their uh, other research commitments and university teaching but all tutorials will be scheduled after school or college hours. As I already mentioned, after your third and final tutorial, you'll have two weeks to write up your final assignment to respond to that big question that's posed at the start of the course in the academic masterclass, and you'll still have access to the virtual learning environment to be able to communicate with the other Seren learners about your course and support each other, and also contact your tutor and ask them any further questions you may have. Irrespective of which way you take part in the programme, you'll receive your mark and your classification along with your written feedback in early January. Some tutors might provide a little bit earlier if you take part in wave one or wave two, but we can't guarantee this because they will have other commitments um, outside of delivering the Seren Award as well. So what to do now? Most well, simply but just apply. As soon as I finish speaking, sign up is open and you'll see on this slide there's a link. You can take a quick photo screenshot or whatever you need to do to be able to follow on and sign up for and make your application. You see the deadline is 5pm on Friday the 29th of October, so you've got just over a week to make your application, but there are a limited number of spaces for each hub and they will be treated mainly on a first come first served basis. Once you've signed up, you'll receive an email from us to show that you've been successful and it'll give you uh, your information on the tutor you'll be working with and links to follow to attend your academic master uh, your tutorials and also to watch your academic masterclass. We'll also then get you set up on a virtual learning environment so you can do your pre-reading before you go into those sessions. I hope you're all really excited about potentially taking part in the Seren Award and will make applications. Please get in touch with us on serenaward at thebrilliantclub.org if you've got any questions and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. Please get your applications in nice and early and good luck with the rest of your Seren journey. Diolch yn pub. Have a great evening everyone. Cyfle gwych yn wir, felly rhoch gynnig arni. A great opportunity, but it is up to you. You need to apply to register and secure that place. You need to be in it to win it. Don't forget, keep your questions coming in for our panel, yeah? Cofiwch am y cwestiwn nena. Ond nawr egwyl fach, a chyfle ymlacio cyn y sesiwn nesa. Now a short break before the next session, when we'll hear from Mike Nicholson in o hwylion wyth seren who has been instrumental in the development of Seren and a fundamental part of the extended Seren family.
Grace and all, welcome back. I'm now delighted to hand over to Mike Nicholson, who's been integral in Seren's journey from the very beginning. Whilst at Oxford, recently at Bath, and now at Llongevichiadau, Mike, we congratulate you on your new position as Director of Recruitment, Admissions and Participation at the University of Cambridge. Dyma gyngor paro di chi rieni, gofalwyr ac aelodau'r teulu. Mike will share his insider tips for parents, carers and family members to support learners in preparing for university. Grace or Mike? My name is Mike Nicholson. I'm Director of Recruitment, Admissions and Participation at the University of Cambridge. And before that, uh, I was Director of Undergraduate Admissions and Outreach at the University of Bath. And previous to that, Director of Undergraduate Admissions and Outreach at the University of Oxford. More importantly, I'm here to talk to you this evening about how students can be best supported in making the transition from where they are now to the point that they're starting university. And I'm going to draw upon the experiences of being a parent. My daughter uh, went to university now uh, six years ago, and there's an awful lot from that experience that I'll also be incorporating uh, into this session. To start off with, uh, it's very important that students think very carefully about what they want to study. There is a wealth of choice available to them. Uh, the last count, there were at least 28,000 individual subjects that students could study in higher education in the United Kingdom. And by the time you start thinking about combined degrees or joint degrees, where students are studying two or more subjects, then it's over 40,000. And students get to only pick five. And in most cases, they're going to end up picking five subjects that uh, are the same. They just pick five different universities. It's highly unlikely that they're going to pick uh, economics at the University of Bath, uh, they're going to pick geography at Cambridge, and then they're going to pick underwater basket weaving with French at the University of the Outer Hebrides. So students really need to think carefully. They need to find something that excites them, engages them, something that on a really wet and miserable Friday morning when they've got to get out of bed at seven o'clock uh, to go to their first lecture of the day at 8.30 or nine o'clock, they're happy to do so. And it may not be a subject that they are currently studying. A lot of those uh, 28,000 degrees are in topics that you can't study at school or college. So I think it's important that students use the time from now to actually do their research. One of the values of the SERN programme is that uh, SERN organises a very extensive opportunity, uh, usually in December time uh, of students year 12 or 6, to engage with people from a range of universities uh, to find out about the various types of course and opportunity uh, that exists. So students should uh, take full advantage of that because it may open up an opportunity and there'll definitely be students who are watching this presentation who will end up doing a degree in a subject that at the moment they maybe don't even know exists. So finding the subject that, that excites you and interests you is going to be very important. I think one of the things that students need to do is not just understand what the subject involves and uh, the sort of issues around what they're going to be covering on their degree, but also they need to think about um, such things as, as what does the course actually uh, require of them? How are they going to be examined and assessed? Uh, what's the structure of assessment? Do they get uh, equal uh, work across the, the duration of the degree um, or are they going to be um, examined everything in the final year? Uh, I think it's also important for students to think about things like uh, career options and employability. What do students who've done the degree that they're interested in applying to actually go on to do? And are there opportunities to do things like internships or study abroad opportunities, all of which will add to the value and the experience uh, that the student will have from doing the course? In addition, obviously, to, to looking at the course content and course choice, students need to find a university that's going to work for them. And again, this is where parents can be incredibly important. Uh, there will hopefully, as, as pandemic restrictions ease, be opportunities for students to visit universities. A lot of universities are already offering online opportunities, which should hopefully cut down on the amount of travel you have to do. But when students are kind of getting down to those final few choices, it is important that they um, think about um, going to look at the university. And I think if, if families can, can go collectively, uh, not only will it allow you to cover more ground, uh, you can split up, you can look around at different aspects uh, of the university on a visit, 
But equally, I think it's important that um, you, you go with a game plan, you work out how you're going to best use the time. You may only have four or five hours uh, on an open day to go and look around. So making sure that you are signed in for the appropriate talks uh, about your subject, if you've got any particular um, special uh, educational needs or support requirements, um, you try and find time to maybe go and talk to somebody from a student services team. Uh, if there are particular hobbies or interests you want to pursue, making sure that the facilities exist at the university to support that. So that will help with your transition because you'll have a ready-made activity or a group of friends uh, who you are likely to want to associate with. So I think all of those issues are really important and it's uh, something that parents and students can work together with when they're thinking about what they want to do. So having thought about uh, the subject and, and maybe where you want to go and study, it's also very important to think about how you convince someone like me uh, as an admissions uh, tutor to, to consider you for a place. And I think this is where, again, there can be a lot of work done between now and when students apply to university. Again, the CERN programme will provide a lot of opportunity for students to engage in activities that will strengthen their application, will give them an insight into the subjects they want to study, will allow them to talk to people from universities and students who've participated already in the CERN programme um, to go and kind of have a look around and, and find out about the various courses that might exist. But when it comes to the application, um, there are a number of things that we're going to be looking at. We're going to look at the student's prior academic record and clearly the last couple of years of education have been significantly disrupted. Uh, we are, however, uh, very aware of the circumstances in which the GCSE grades in 2020 were awarded. We know that there was a process and a structure around those awards and we will be taking the results that students have achieved as examples and indications of what their potential is. Bear in mind, in, in the lockdown in 2020, um, it, it happened from March. Students had covered the majority of their GCSE course. Their teachers, who ultimately uh, use, were able to, to make decisions on grades, are, were in a very good position to understand how students had engaged. And while students didn't get the chance to take final examinations, the grade distribution would suggest that, um, broadly speaking, students got at least uh, the grade they should have got and, and where there was any benefit of the doubt I think that was probably given uh, through the, the way the grades were awarded. So your GCSEs are going to be an indicator to us of, of where a couple of years ago you were and, and how your teachers uh, felt you were doing on your individual subjects. Uh, clearly, uh, we've had a, a set of uh, results awarded in 2021, which again went through teacher assessment. For 2022 entry, however, uh, we know that students are going to be back hopefully to examinations. And for most of the students who are listening to this evening's presentation, they're going to be applying to university in 2023. So the 2022 AS examinations taken as uh, activity that, that students will be awarded um, through hopefully an examination route are going to be important. They will be indicative uh, to us of, of how you're progressing on your course so far for those of you taking AS exams. And obviously uh, they have the potential to build towards the final result that you're going to be awarded uh, in 2023. So doing the work this year to put yourselves in a good position uh, for 2020. Uh, three examination series is going to be very important. So we've got some information from, from your exams at GCSE, whether you took them in 2020 or in 2021. We'll have, uh, by the time you apply, the results uh, from the summer of 2022 exams. Uh, we'll also, of course, be looking at the predictions that your teachers make on your likely future performance. And it is important that you see the fact that this year's work is going to be something that teachers will be drawing upon to make those great predictions for next year. So the work you put in this year will have a benefit towards the predictions ultimately you receive on your grades for university. On top of that, um, we look at something called uh, the personal statement, which is part of something called the UCAS ap application. On the personal statement, one of the things we're going to be looking for is, is your motivation. Why do you want to do the course? And it is important for you to be able to write two or three sentences that signify to us your interest, your enthusiasm uh, in your subject. We're also however, going to be looking for additional evidence, things that you have been doing whilst you've been in your post-16 study that demonstrate that engagement, that um, study for the subject. 
Things like, for instance, the project in the uh, Welsh uh, Baccalaureate's Skills Challenge Certificate. If you've done that, they'll be able to write about that approach to that project and the sort of topic that you covered in detail. You may want to do something called a MOOC, a massive online open course. These are free university level courses, number of different providers. FutureLearn is a big provider in the UK. And these typically last between two to five weeks. They give you the chance to kind of engage online with a university uh, level study in a particular topic. It could be a really good way, particularly for those of you who are thinking of applying to do a course at university in a subject you've not studied before. And then finally, we are going to be looking for evidence that you uh, are showing that kind of level of resilience and engagement that you makes it ready for you to transition to university. And again, parents can be very helpful in this by encouraging students to think about and reflect on experiences that they've had that have taken them outside their comfort zone, have helped them um, adapt to new circumstances, have maybe opened up their mind, challenged them in new and interesting ways. So a final paragraph out of the four paragraphs on your personal statement talking about that, I think will also be helpful to university admissions tutors. Finally, it's very, very important uh, that you are thinking about those, those transition issues about going to university. And I think this is one of the areas where in particular families uh, can be particularly supportive. Um, and, and I'm just going to kind of put a few questions out there that you may wish to reflect on. Firstly, um, would you be confident in going to university tomorrow and surviving on your own cooking skills for the next 10 weeks without getting scurvy or rickets or any other vitamin-based deficiency disorder? Because if the answer is yes, you are a great chef and cook, then that really opens up your choice of universities. A lot of universities only have self-catered accommodation, or well, the majority of their accommodation is now self-catered. And I guarantee you can find your perfect course in perfect university, but if you can't cook, it's highly unlikely you're gonna put down a course or a university where you have to be in self-catered accommodation, and that will really narrow down your choices. It'll also probably save you money if you are in catered accommodation, you pay for food, usually up front, and often if you miss a meal, you won't get that refunded. So at least if you are in self-catered accommodation or can cook for yourself, it gives you quite a lot of flexibility. And finally, it's a great way to make friends. One of the things that we discovered during lockdown was the kitchen became the social hub uh, for, for your flat or for your, your um, block in your accommodation. And actually it was a great way to kind of um, entertain people, make friends, uh, share experiences over a meal. So learning to cook is, is really quite a useful skill. Second uh, question I've got is how many of you have ever done the weekly or monthly shop on behalf of your family? Because when you go to university, unless you are living at home and commuting, the expectation is you'll have to manage a budget. You'll have to make your student loan go the distance. And if you've never had experience of kind of looking after yourself or managing uh, a food bill or, or working out over a kind of 10 week term, how you structure your resources, then, then that's gonna be a potential challenge. One thing again, you can do before you go, um, just try an experimental week where you have a set amount of money, you have to go out and, and use that money to buy the food, you have to cook the food. It doesn't have to be a full week. If, if that kind of is too much of a challenge, just do you know three, four, five days. There's only a few different possible outcomes to this. One is that you know you spend all the money, you eat all the food, and then you you find you've still got four days to cover. Uh, another option might be that you remember this talk, you figure out that some of your friends have also heard this talk, so you pool your resources, and what you'll find is that you know if you set yourself a weekly budget of fifteen pounds each, thirty pounds by from two people will go a lot further than fifteen between one, because you can buy multi-packs and split them and, and really make that money go the further distance. And then there'll be a small number of students who, who cook fine. You know, they get to, to Friday, they've still got some money left, they've, they've eaten and haven't died of, of starvation. And, and that just kind of gives you a bit of self-confidence that you can manage this process. And then the final thing that, that you might want to think about doing is, is that basic issue about stuff like laundry. You know, how many of you have ever had to, to do your own laundry on a regular basis? Because whilst you might find a university that will cook for you and, you know, you may be able to get aid packages sent from your family, there will be nobody there to do your laundry for you. So um, I, I speak with particular passion about this because of an experience of a friend of mine who um, hadn't ever done laundry before. They um, saved it up. So they had kind of three weeks before they were running out of clothes. They went down to the university laundrette. They... Um, 
knew enough about washing clothes to know they had to separate out the the, the colours from the, the non-coloured stuff because otherwise the colours would run and the clothes would just end up in a nasty shade of grey. Uh, they remembered to add washing powder so that the, the stuff was actually clean at the end of the cycle. What they didn't understand was that washing machines self-filled with water once you start them going so they, they used a bucket and filled up the washing machine with water um, and, and then set it going and the machine exploded and it put the load out of action for a week. Um, you don't want to be that person so um, those sort of very basic life skills um, are really worth trying to get under your belt before you go to university because it will give you a bit more confidence. One final thing uh, I want to, to draw your attention to, um, universities are very aware of the fact that students may need additional support. There is opportunity within the admissions process to declare any issues around um, special educational needs, mental health uh, support that you might need. I would encourage you to do that. It will give uh, the university additional information to ensure that they can then work with you during the application process after you've received your offer to ensure that you are ready to hit the ground running when you arrive at university. And if there are any special uh, facilities you need or special adaptations, then they can be put in place uh, before you start your course. Going to university is a really great opportunity. You are clearly a very capable student if you are on the SEREM program. You're going to get a lot of opportunity over the next few weeks to really kind of, um, and months to, to really develop your opportunity. So take full advantage of it. I wish you every success, regardless of the course or the university you ultimately apply to. Diolch yn fawr, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Ac fe fydd yn ymuno'n i eto yn y funud. Yes, Mike is joining us for the panel, so please do ask him any question you want. Be gwyl fer nawr, we're now going to have a short break to set up the live Q&A session. Ewch allan o'r stafell yma ac yn ôl i'r cyntaf. The next session is being delivered using Microsoft Teams live events, so you'll need to exit this room and return to the lobby where you click the link to be redirected to either the Teams app if you have it installed, or to the web version of Teams for the live Q&A. Well, only if you have a break, I come back to the lobby area. <laughs>